so it's becoming more clear what the narrative is setting itself up as. Trump is being set up as the villain. You need to vote away your rights to stop Trump. Sure, the TPT might reduce you to a slave, but you'll vote for it because Trump is scary. The security state is expanding, but you'll vote for it because Trump said something mean about gay people. All this war and imperialism and greed and corruption, you'll just vote in favor of it because of the frightening Trump. They're, they're ramping this up, right? And I just don't have time for it. it but, but if you were paying attention to what Clinton did as secretary, this should not be surprising. It's exactly the kinds of UN votes that she engineered. The same tactics, the same nonsense. And it's equally transparent, okay? In fact, this kind of narrative is what you're going to get for the next eight years. It's all about distracting you with something scary to continue the slow enslavement of America. And you'll be happy in your slavery, too. Okay? So every, like, you're going to be constantly bombarded with this, you know, scary thing. Um, it, it's the same neocon philosophy that was underlying the whole Bush presidency. Okay, you need some scary thing to unite the people, a noble lie or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, it, it, it's, uh, th th there's a philosopher called Leo Strauss um, that was alive uh, a few decades ago um, and that wrote a lot about this and that, um, very much underlies what we what we call neoconservatism. It's it's, it's just Hobbesianism. Um, this idea that you need to put all power into a state. Um, it, it, you know, this, the state is the role of the protector to protect people from the scary outside world. Okay, this is this is this is the world. This is what Clinton is bringing us. Okay, and you can see it. It's already starting. Okay, and the only way out of this is to disengage. Okay. You don't want to support Trump, obviously, and I've tried to be clear about that. Um, but but you, you really don't want to support Clinton either, okay? And the more she tries to scare you, the more it may, the more clear it is that you don't want to support this, okay? So just disengage, just don't vote. And I need to reiterate it, okay? But but you have to be able to see it for what it is first. You have to be able to recognize that you're being manipulated, okay? Trump is playing the role of the villain. Clinton is here to save us. You may need to make that deal with the devil, that Hobbesian bargain, to sell yourself away for your own safety. So you're going to sell away your sovereignty. You're going to sell away your rights as workers. Okay? You're going to sell it all away. You're going to throw it all away. And she's going to convince you to throw it all away. So that she can protect you. And it's all theater. And you fall for it at your own peril, okay? In your rush to stop fascism, quote-unquote, you're going to elect a woman that all educated people realize is a fascist in waiting. Veni Vidi Vici, and hey, you can count on her to get the trains to run on time. You can, truly. We're a little over 30 years late, but there it is. It's right out of war. Well, you're going to hear this. I'm voting for Hillary Clinton to stop fascism. It's an absurd statement. Look at it. Read, o read it over a few times. Okay? Let it sink into your mind. I'm voting for Hillary Clinton to stop fascism. Somebody's got to meme this. I'm sure someone will. Okay, but like I say, I, I'm, I'm tuning out. Okay, you might get the auto right comment from me, the disinterested, sardonic observer. But I have no attachment to this. It's just, it's, it's, um, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's surreally, um, ridiculous. Um, and then I'm not wasting my time trying to get in between this. Okay, it's, um, if, if the choice is between Trump and Clinton... Um, you're, it, it's a choice between fascism and fascism, right? Um, and, and the way that it's being designed is to... It's clear, okay, she's, what she will allow... She will use this as an excuse to push through the most anti-libertarian um, legislation that you can imagine. Okay, and you can see this coming up. Um, and it's what it is. Okay, so, um, 
I don't see any use in standing at the top of the hill and screaming and yelling. Um, if you can't see it, then you deserve it. Sorry. Um, I mean, they, they set this up, right? They, they slash your education systems. This is why Sanders is so important, okay? He's the probably the last chance that you have to get out. Um, and if you can't see it, if you don't accept it, you know, if you can't see that this is your last chance out of, of you know, the, the dystopia, um, if you even... Dystopia if you're if you're a middle class white person, but you know something a lot worse than that if you're something else. Um, if you can't see yourself, if you can't see that this is your last chance, then um, you deserve your own fate. Um, and those are the kinds of comments um, that you're gonna get from me after this election cycle when I decide to um, take a few minutes to tune in.